HD home run tuners and DVRs have evolved quite a bit in the last few years, and they've quickly become a go-to device for cord cutters who rely on a TV antenna for free over-the-air channels. So today, I'm reviewing the HD Home Run Scribe and comparing it to some cheaper options such as HD Home Run Connect and HD Home Run Extend. I'm also going to cover the HD Home Run Servio, which has 2 terabytes of storage to any HD Home Run tuner or DVR. And I'll get into some of your software options including the HD Home Run app and Plex. This video is part of a brand new review that you can find on my website, cordcuttingreport.com. A quick disclosure before we start. Silicon Dust has been sending me HD Home Run tuners over the last few years to test out, but everything you see and hear in this review comes from my own hands-on testing. No one has paid for this review, but if you, the viewer, use the affiliate links below, I'll receive a small commission at no cost to you, and that'll help me keep making more reviews and more videos like this one. So I've been reviewing HD Home Run hardware since about 2017, and I own a couple of Tableau DVRs, a Fire TV recast, and I pretty much keep two or three over-the-air DVRs running at my house because I'm just generally interested in how how they perform on a day-to-day -day basis. HD home run tuners and DVRs are made by Silicon Dust and they were around making these tuners way before cord cutting became as popular as it is today. Once you have an HD home run tuner or DVR up and running, pretty much any device in your house with a screen becomes a portable TV. You can watch live TV channels on your smartphone, tablet, PC, and of course your television. Setting up an HD home run is really simple. Connect the antenna to the back of the HD home run box, hook up an ethernet cord that runs to the Wi-Fi router, plug in the power adapter and do a channel scan, and you're pretty much ready to go. One big difference off the top with the HD Home Run Scribe is that it's a full-fledged DVR. It has a built-in one terabyte hard drive, so you don't need any other hardware. The HD Home Run Connect and HD Home Run Extend are actually TV tuners with no hard drive. So that means you need to dedicate some hard drive space either on a computer or a server. You can add an external hard drive to a PC for recordings. Once you have everything plugged in, you just need to run a channel scan at myhdhomerun.com. Now you can watch your over-the-air channels on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, Android TV devices like Nvidia Shield, I personally like to watch my local channels on my smartphone because I might be out in my garage or manning the grill outside and I want to watch a little bit of TV. This is the HD Home Run app on the NVIDIA Shield. The channel guide for live TV runs on the right side of the screen. It's something Silicon Dust calls Slice View. It's pretty different from the old school channel guide that you'd see on a cable box. You'll find the Slice View guide on Amazon Fire TV, on NVIDIA Shield, on a Roku the menu is a little rougher around the edges, but it works. Let's jump back to the NVIDIA Shield interface for a minute. Head down to this hamburger shaped icon at the bottom right hand of the screen and you can manage your recordings. Head over to the discovery tab and you can get a bird's eye view of what's on TV right now. The subcategories are broken down into upcoming shows, movies, and sports. I really like these kinds of guides better than the old school channel guides because you get a chance to find out about shows and sporting events that you didn't even know were available through your TV antenna. You don't always have to rely on the big streaming service to watch a favorite TV show or even live sports. Here's an example of what I'm talking about. Just about every week for the last year and a half, you could read stories about how the show Friends was disappearing from one streaming service and going to another. The same thing with Seinfeld. I've actually never watched an episode of Friends in my life, but I set up the HD home run to record the show just to prove that depending on where you live, a DVR can record some of the most popular TV shows on TV and on streaming and they're all in HD quality, and they're free. In terms of day-to-day -day use, the one thing I love most about having an antenna plugged into my HD home run is that I can watch local channels on my TV pretty much anywhere inside my house or out my backyard. It basically turns your TV, tablets, laptops, PCs into portable televisions. Being able to watch local CBS or NBC station in my backyard or garage is super convenient. I can even watch nationally broadcasted sporting events on a projector 
through the HD Home Run app or Plex. So is there one HD Home Run model that's better than the others? I'd say it really comes down to two things, your budget and what kind of setup you want to have around your house. I've lived in both large and small homes over the years, and I usually have three TVs operating in my house. For most people, the HD Home Run Connect models are going to work for you just fine. Here's a few things that I think you should consider if you're going to buy an HD Home Run. The Scribe and Connect models come in two versions. The Duo model means there's two internal TV tuners, so you can watch and record on up to two television programs at once. The Quattro models have four tuners, so you can watch and record up to four programs at once. The HD Home Run Extend only comes with two tuners inside. I'll explain why in a minute. One challenge for some people is that HD Home Run devices have to be hardwired to your Wi-Fi router. For me, it's never been a problem. You can have a really long run of Ethernet cord if you need to. Hey, let's talk about picture quality for a second. The Connect Duo and Quattro models stream RAW MPEG-2. So when you look at your TV, it's bright, it's crisp. Most over-the-air stations still broadcast with MPEG-2 encoding. I have one TV in my house that's just hooked up to a TV antenna, and I don't think you'd be able to tell the difference between streaming through an HD Home Run app and plugging a TV antenna in the back of your television. The advantage to going with a Connect Duo or Quattro is that you can put together an inexpensive setup and upgrade your storage space later. So for example, if you want to go really cheap, I paid about 18 bucks for this hard drive case, and I took a 500 gigabit hard drive out of an old computer that my parents were getting rid of. They barely used the hard drive, so it was great for some basic recordings. If you have the budget for it, I would say hard drives from Seagate or Western Digital are also very good. I use them both for different storage setups around the house. If you just want over-the-air channels on a couple of TVs in your house and you don't live in a mansion, the Connect models are the way to go. Just think about whether you want the Connect Duo with two tuners or the Quattro with four tuners. HD Home Run Extend has only two tuners and the key difference is that it has a built-in H.264 transcoder which compresses video in real time. By transcoding video, you're using less bandwidth. So why would that matter? Let's say you're running a Plex server or an older computer like this 2008 desktop that I have kicking around. This thing is 12 years old and there isn't much in the way of processing power. A setup like this might struggle with delivering a live MPEG-2 stream, especially if you're doing it over Wi-Fi and you have a couple dozen other internet connected devices in your house. Your old Plex server is competing for bandwidth against newer and probably faster hardware around your house. So when it comes to watching live TV in a situation like this, I could definitely see an advantage to having an HD Home Run Extend because you can set it up to transcode from MPEG-2 to H.264. Transcoding to H.264 is also going to reduce the file size for each recording, and it's easier to transmit live TV over Wi-Fi. The built-in transcoder is pretty much what makes the Extend a more expensive unit compared to HD Home Run Connect. And you know, the example I'm giving you with the older Plex server isn't the only reason why someone might prefer an HD Home Run Extend. If you have an older Wi-Fi setup that's not on the AC Wi-Fi standard, an Extend might be a better buy. Or if you have some older clients that struggle with playing MPEG-2 files, then an Extend might be what you need. The question or concern I see most online isn't a matter of compatibility. It's whether the Connect models are powerful enough for watching live TV over Wi-Fi. Based on my own day-to-day -day use over the last few years, I would definitely say the Kinect models work just fine. In fact, the Kinect models are the ones that I've been using the longest. I've been watching live TV on my phone using the Kinect Quattro for a couple years, and I switched over to the Scribe DVR about eight months ago. Here's what you really need to think about in terms of choosing an HD Home Run Connect or Extend versus the new Scribe DVR. If you want to record live TV using the Connect or Extend, you're going to need a PC, mini PC, 
or some kind of server setup that's gonna always be on. Having a computer that's always on to record shows isn't a desirable thing for everyone. There are some decent server options that you can set up on your own with an older PC desktop, but if you don't wanna go down that path, then spending the money for an HD Home Run Scribe is probably the better buy for you. Like I mentioned, the Scribe has a one terabyte internal hard drive, so you don't need to set up the external hard drive or have any kind of server set up for recordings. The Scribe Duo, which is the two tuner model, that retails for about $180. The Scribe Quattro with four tuners retails for about $230. When the Scribe came out, Silicon Dust also released the HD Home Run Servio. From the outside, it looks just like another HD Home Run device, but it's actually made for expanding your HD Home Run tuner or DVR. It's not a standalone piece of hardware. The Servio is basically an alternative for HD Home Run owners that don't want to set up a PC or a NAS for recordings. So let's say you already bought a HD Home Run Connect or Extend, and having your PC on all the time isn't working for you. You can hook up a Servio, That'll add a two terabyte hard drive to your setup, and that's about 300 hours worth of recordings. The Servio was initially priced at about $150, but I've seen it now for a few dollars cheaper. Anyway, I think the real benefit here is that the Servio can definitely be cheaper than buying a brand new mini PC and adding a hard drive to it. There are some limitations to the Scribe DVR and Servio. The Scribe and Servio only works with HD Home Run software. And that kind of sets them apart from the Connect or Extend. One unique aspect of HD Home Run, whether you're talking about the Connect or Extend, is that you can use third-party software instead of the HD Home Run DVR service. I think when it comes to picking a DVR service, it comes down to two things. How much do you want to pay per year, and what do you want to accomplish? The HD Home Run DVR service is definitely the cheapest at $35 a year and you're getting a 14 day channel guide. And remember, you could go without a DVR service and just use the 24 hour channel guide, but the HD Home Run DVR service is less than $3 a month. So I mean, how many other ways do you burn three bucks a month without thinking about it? Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts are eating way more into your wallet than silicon dust. Plex has a grid style channel guide and there's a pretty intuitive interface in terms of tracking down upcoming TV shows or sporting events. So for example, I can head over to the sports section and quickly see that some NFL games are coming up. To use Plex's live TV and DVR service, you need to get a Plex Pass, which costs $4.99 a month, or you can get a lifetime pass for $149. With Plex, you can pause and rewind live TV, and if you set up port forwarding on your router, you can also watch live TV outside your home. Once on a vacation in Aruba, I was able to connect to my server back home and watch live TV channels. That was pretty cool. Plex is also a hub where I can centralize all my music, my personal burn DVD collection, favorite podcasts, a title subscription. Plex has also just added a huge ad supported on demand library of movies and TV shows. They've partnered with Crackle to fill out their movie library and they just kicked off their own live TV streaming service which has around 80 channels right now. You might find yourself experimenting with different DVR services, and I think that's the best way to start out. Just remember that all of your free over-the-air channels are coming to you in 720p or 1080i. So you're gonna have HD picture quality that's gonna look really crisp and it's gonna be free. So now that I've shared my experience with HD Home Run, let me know about yours in the comments below. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel right now. And don't forget, you can buy an HD Home Run using the links below. I'll receive a small commission at no cost to you, and it'll help me keep making more reviews like this one. For more guides and tips on HD Home Run, head over to my website, cordcuttingreport.com. Thanks again, and see you next time.